ever since this current situation began, I've been kind of a little bit... Talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. You talking to me? So this is when I decided I should probably build myself what I have since dubbed the Sanity Station. This is the place where I can communicate with my friends and my relatives and hopefully not go completely mental. And you might be thinking, could you not just have used a laptop for that? You must be new here. There are three reasons I have done this. The first one is, holding your phone like this for an hour will give you the claw. The claw! <laughs> the second reason I've done this is, I wanted to build a communication station, TM, around my phone. I started out with the PC and here's what happened. Someone said, let's meet on Skype. So I installed Skype. The next person, let's meet on Jitsi. So I installed Jitsi. The next person, let's meet on House Party. So I installed House Party. The next person, let's use WhatsApp. You know, the only thing that doesn't work on your PC. Brilliant, the only thing I can't use my PC for, that's what you want to use. Fine, let's use that then. Yeah, keep like that. Yeah, flipping WhatsApp. So this is where I thought, scrap all that, let's get a, a claw for my phone. So I put my phone above my monitor. I thought, let's find a way to connect my monitor to my phone so I can use my monitor. Then I thought, let's get some speakers and connect those in and let's get a decent microphone and connect that in. This isn't as easy as you might think. So I went rooting through my drawers and I actually found I got everything I needed to do this. I'd even got a little HDMI box that I could switch so I could switch between my normal PC and my phone at the press of a button. So I got to work setting all this up and that's second reason. That's reason number two. The third reason is, I was bored. So I'm gonna walk you through everything I've used in this setup from my favorite app right the way through the different pieces of hardware. Most of the hardware, I should point out, I've just reused from previous projects. They're all just sort of sat in a drawer somewhere. Hopefully you've got a lot of this stuff in a drawer yourself, and if you have, you'll be able to take some ideas from this project. Or just go back to using your phone like some cave-dwelling simpleton. I don't mean that. My mum uses her phone. Your parents are probably cave-dwelling simpletons. I should stop saying that. My mum's gonna kick my ass! So, the reason I'm saying this is because my favourite app is not only the best for quality um, and uptime, I've literally used it for five hours, um, is also the simplest to use. If you're looking for a decent application, Jitsi, J-I-T-S-I, -I, I can see you at home going, Jit, what? Jitsi. Jitsi Meet is its full title, and you can either download an app to your phone, punch in a room name, and you're in, or you can literally give your parents a URL to click on, and that's it. It will put them in your room. And if your parents click on that link, they'll be in the room without even having to enter a password. If you want to make it more secure so people won't accidentally join your group, you can just set a password and give them the password, and it's job done. You don't want a hand that looks like this. I don't mean my hand. I mean, there's nothing wrong with my hand. Stop saying my hands are small. You don't want a claw-shaped hand from holding your phone all the time, so you need some kind of desk stand or monitor clamp. I have personally used something that I've recycled from a previous project where I was gonna use my phone to do some more filming. All I've done is clamped my phone to my monitor stand so that it hangs directly above my monitor. You should do that too. You can connect your phone to a monitor or a TV screen or a projector, depending on how pretty your friends are. Uh, whichever size you choose, you're just going to need a basic cable that will convert USB-C into HDMI. As long as your phone is capable of HDMI output, you should probably check that first. You can just buy a cable and plug it straight into your telly. If, of course, you need to be able to charge your phone, because your phone is going to quickly run out of battery by doing that, you'll need something a little bit more substantial than a cable. I've used a DEX station, which cost this much money. Uh, there's a link for that in the description if you want one of those. 
it's brilliant. The other advantage of a DeX station is you can connect USB peripherals to your mobile phone. So I've connected a USB mic, for example, and I've also connected a USB mouse and keyboard. I never tire of using a mouse on a mobile phone because I'm a massive nerd. Hi, I am from the future. I've just spent 40 hours making this very video all about this microphone. Unfortunately for me, that microphone is not suitable for this project at all. In my initial testing, I was just testing with Nisha, and it was absolutely fine. But last night, I came to use it with three or four friends in a chat, and it was not fine. It was not fine at all. Unfortunately, this microphone is heavily compressed. And what that means is it can hear the sound of the speakers, which means that my friends could hear their own voices bouncing back at them, which made our chat utterly impossible. Um, I have since replaced that microphone with this one from Fifine. The Fifine mic has a much lower level of compression than the Thronmax mic. Thronmax. Sounds like some kind of adult toy. So the Fifine mic, because it has a lower level of compression, it doesn't suffer quite so badly with the reverberation from the speakers, but it's still really important that you keep it a good distance away from the speakers and that it's reasonably close to the people that are speaking to it. If you're looking to buy a microphone specifically for this project, I would highly recommend you buy the Fifine mic that I've linked in the description so that you can avoid the nightmare that I had last night with my overly compressed microphone. Unfortunately, Android is a massive bimbo when it comes to sound. If you plug a microphone into an Android device, it thinks, ha, huh, that's a set of speakers and a microphone. No, it's not. It's just a micro- No, 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 it's fine. I'll send all of the audio to that microphone. Why? There's no point. It's for this reason that I've had to use a microphone with an audio jack output. If it didn't, I'd have no way of getting sound to my speakers. This is a major drawback with Android, unfortunately, that I've had to work around. If you're using a TV, unfortunately, there is no way to use the TV's speakers as soon as you plug in a microphone. The speakers that I've plugged in to my microphone are some Gigaworks T20s by Creative, and they are glorious. I've had them for years, so I bought them for Nisha's PC literally about 10 years ago, and they are still selling them to this day because they are that good. If you're looking for a really nice pair of PC speakers, I can't recommend these enough. They might be overkill for this project, depending on how permanent you want this situation to be. I think we all want it to end. But if you're looking for this to be a permanent solution for doing video calling, these are beautiful speakers. There are just two other things I want to do for this project. The first one is I would like to put an NFC tag in my phone's cradle so that when I put the phone in the cradle, it'll set the right Bluetooth profiles and maybe even launch the Jitsi app. I could do all that with Tasker. That would be a cool thing to do. Bluetooth connected, welcome to the Sanity Station. The second thing I would like to achieve with this project going forwards is actually a bit of a fix for the fact that Android is a moron. Um, the problem with Android is if you plug in a USB microphone into an Android device, the Android device goes, ooh, a USB microphone. That's great. If, however, you plug a USB microphone into an Android device whilst the Android device has power, it goes, what's that? I don't know why, but it's really irritating and there seems to be no way around it. When I plug in my DEX unit into my Android device, if there is power to the DEX unit, my Android device won't detect the mic. I have to disconnect the power supply, let the Android device find the microphone, and then reconnect the power supply. What I'd like to do is I'd like to automate this with a Wi-Fi plug socket, so that it's always switched off the power to the DEX when I plug the phone in, but then, once the phone's plugged in and detected the mic, I can ask either Google Home or She That She Not Be Named to power on the plug socket to give my phone power. Bit of an annoying workaround, but it will save me having to take cables out and plug them back in again every time I want to start a phone conversation with somebody. Is this the easiest solution? Of course not! Holding your mobile phone like this is! 
but it's not anywhere near as good as having a proper condenser mic to talk through and having a proper set of speakers to listen through connected to a decent monitor so you can see what's going on. This is the best possible solution I can think of here in 2020. If you're looking for a slightly easier solution, you could use a Bluetooth speaker uh, with a microphone on it instead of all that audio equipment and still connect your stuff to a monitor so that you've got a decent picture and you've got a reasonable sound and a reasonable mic. But what I've found is, unfortunately, Bluetooth really does hurt the quality of phone calls in a way that doesn't for listening to music. I would recommend if you want to get the best out of speaking to your friends and your family at the moment, invest in this kind of a setup if you've got the time and the inclination. If you don't, just stop watching this video and call me names in the comment section. I'll enjoy that too. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know you want to be notified when I upload videos. These amazing people are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I probably wouldn't have bought a lot of this equipment in the first place, and these videos wouldn't get made. If you want to be a patron on Patreon, you can do that at Patreon, or you can buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll love you forever. If you want to come and hang out with me at all the social medias, there is all the Facebooks, the Twitters, and the Instagrams. I am there. Come and be my best friend. See you next time. Hey, Paul. Let's meet on WhatsApp. 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 <laughs> Let's use WhatsApp. You know, the only thing that you can't use on your PC. That thing, there. Stick your phone in the... <laughs> Go back to using WhatsApp on your phone like a cave person. Idiot. <laughs>